Okay, Victoria's Secret friends and followers, this is well known critic to whom I am thankful for letting me my negatives. I want to build out a safe journey in 2021. In spite of the two waves of Corona, the third wave very much imminent. All with high mortality rates, besides other natural calamities all over the world. With the social access, computer temperature, progress rates back with altruistic July from my 156th video on annual of publication on YouTube, say 13th August 2021, Friday. Friday the 13th. Uh, okay, the topic for today is Internet of Things, IoT, overly. Internet is a computer network consisting of a worldwide network of computer networks that use a information control protocol, ECT, or uh, Internet Protocol, IP network protocols to facilitate data transmission and exchange. The Internet of Things describes a network of physical objects, so known as things, that are embedded with sensors, software, and other technologies that is used for the purpose of connecting and exchanging data with other devices and systems over the Internet. Things are evolved due to the convergence of multiple technologies, machine learning, ubiquitous computing, commodity sensors, and embedded systems. Traditional fields of embedded systems, wireless sensor networks, control systems, automation, including home and building automation, and others all contribute to enabling the Internet of Things. In the consumer market, IoT technology is most synonymous with the products pertaining to the concept of smart home. Everything they use the term smart, people are becoming dumb and dumb, including devices and appliances. This is something I used to say all the time. Human beings need to be smart, not the things that we use. Okay, devices and appliances, it has thermostats, home security systems, and cameras, and other home appliances that support one or more common ecosystems can be, can, can be controlled via devices associated with the ecosystem. Such as smartphones and smart speakers. The IoT can also be used in healthcare systems. There are a number of serious concerns in the growth of the IoT, especially the areas of privacy and security and consequently industry and government. Governmental moves to address these concerns are begun, including the development of internet instruments. Main concept of network of smart devices discussed as early as 1982 with a modified Coca-Cola vending machine at Carnegie Mellon University becoming the first ARPANET connected appliance able to report its inventory and whether newly loaded drinks are cold or not. Mark Weiser's 1991 paper on ubiquitous computing computer of the 21st century as well as academic venues such as Ubicom and Patka produce a contemporary vision of the IoT. Contemporary. 1990, the concept in IEEE spectrum as moving small packets of data, packets of data by a large set of nodes, so as to integrate and automate everything from home appliances to entire factories. In 1997, several companies proposed solutions like Microsoft's at work or Novel's Nest. The field gained momentum and built joy, envision device to device communication as a part of the six steps framework presented at the World Economic Forum at Davos in 1999. The concept of the Internet of Things and the term itself first appeared in a speech by Peter J. T. Lewis to the Congressional Back Caucus Foundation 15th annual legislative. Then DC published in September 1985. According to Lewis, the Internet of Things or IoT is the integration of people, process, and technology with connectable devices and sensors to enable remote monitoring, status, manipulation, and evaluation of trends of such devices. The term IoT was coined independently by Kevin Ashton of Procter and Gamble, later MIT's Auto ID Center in 1999, space Inter Internet for Things, not Things of Things. IF. At that point, they viewed radio frequency identification or of IDs as essential to the internet. Of things which should allow computers to manage all individual things. The main theme of IoT is to embed 
short range mobile transceivers in various gadgets and daily necessities enable new forms of communication between people and things and between things in them so yes simply the point in time when more things are objects were connected to the internet and people cisco systems estimated that the iot was born between 2008 and 9 with the things people ratio growing from 0.08 in 2003 to 1.84 in 2010 extend the set of applications for iot devices is often divided into consumer commercial industrial and such as space so growing proportion of it iot devices are created for consumer use including connected vehicles home automation wearable technology connected to health and appliances with remote monitoring capabilities iot devices are a part of a larger concept of which can include lighting heating and air conditioning media and security systems and camera systems long term benefits could include energy savings by automatically ensuring lights and electronics are turned off by making the residents in the home aware of you a smart home or automated home to be used based on a platform or hubs that controls smart devices and appliances for instance using the manufacturers can have the home products and accessories controlled by an application in ios devices such as the iphone and the apple watch this could be a dedicated app or I, ios native app, such as siri this can be demonstrated in the case of lenovo smart home essentials which is a line of smart home devices that are controlled to apple's home app or siri without the need for a wi-fi bridge there are also dedicated smart home hubs but as stand alone platforms to connect different smart home products and these include the amazon echo google home apple's home pod and samsung smart things in addition to the commercial systems there are many non proprietary ecosystems including home assistant open hub and do mode do mode is one key application of smart home is to provide assistance for those with disabilities and elderly individuals these home systems use assistance assistive technology to accommodate the own specific disabilities voice controllers can assist users sight and mobility limitation trial level systems can be connected directly to cochlear implant worn by hearing impaired users they can also be equipped with additional safety features these features can include sensors that monitor for medical emergencies such as falls or seizures smart home technology applied in this way can provide users with more freedom and a high quality of life So the enterprise iot era first device is used in business and corporate settings by 2019 it is estimated that the ai iot will account for 9.5 billion devices so in terms of medical things iomt is an application of the iot plan health related purposes health related purposes data collection and analysis for research and monitoring the iomt has been referenced as smart health for creating a digital health care system connecting available medical resources and health care services iot devices can be used to enable remote health monitoring and emergency notification systems these health monitoring devices blood pressure and heart rate monitors for advanced devices capable of monitoring specialized implants such as pacemaker speed bed electronic wrist bands or advanced hearing aids some hospitals have begun implementing smart beds that can detect when they are occupied and when a patient is attempting to get up it can also adjust itself to ensure appropriate pressure and support is applied to the patient without the manual interaction of people. The 2015 Goldman Sachs report indicated that the US has more than 300 billion dollars in annual health care expenditures, by increasing revenue and decreasing costs. Moreover, the use of mobile devices to support medical follow-up led to the creation of ML used analyzed health statistics. Our specialized sensors can also be equipped with engineering phases to monitor the health and general well. while also ensuring that proper treatment is being administered and assisting people regain lost mobility via therapy as well these sensors create a network of intelligent sensors that are able to collect process transfer and analyze reliable reliable information in different environments such as connecting in home monitoring devices to hospital based other customers or devices to encourage healthy living such as connected scales or wearable health monitors are also a part Gentry and the health monitoring IoT platforms are also available for antenatal and chronic patients, helping one manage health vitals and recurring medication requirements. Advances in plastic and fabric 
electronics fabrication methods are enabled ultra low cost fusion so of medical things iomt sensors these sensors along with the required rfid radio frequency identification electronics can be fabricated on paper or e textiles for uh, wireless power disposable sensing device applications have been established for point of care medical diagnostics for portability and low system com- complexity assessment class of 2018 iomt was not only being applied in the clinical laboratory but also in the healthcare and health insurance industry iomt in the healthcare industry is now permitting doctors patients and others such as guardians of patients nurses families and similar to be a part of the system that patient records are saved in a database allowing doctors and the rest of the medical staff to have access to the patient information moreover iot based systems are patient centered which involves being flexible to the patient's medical conditions iomt is uh, in the insurance industry provides access to better new types of dynamic information these include sensor based solutions such as biosensors wearables connected health mobile apps to track consumer behavior customer behavior this can lead to more accurate undertaking underwriting and new pricing models the application of iot to healthcare plays a fundamental role in managing chronic diseases and disease prevention and control remote monitoring is made possible through the connection of powerful wireless solution the connectivity enables health record practitioners to capture patient data and applying complex algorithms to health data analysis digital variable speed limit sign iot can assist in the integration of communication control and information processing as well as various transportation systems <coughs> application of iot extends to all aspects of transportation that is the vehicle infrastructure and the driver or user Dynamic interaction between these components of a transport system enables intra and intra-vehicular communication, smart traffic control, smart parking, electronic toll collection systems, logistics and fleet management, vehicle control, safety and road assistance in vehicular communication systems. Vehicle communication consists of three components, three main components, vehicle to vehicle communication, vehicle to infrastructure communication, and vehicle to pedestrian communication. vehicle to everything communication is the first step in autonomous driving and connected road infrastructure iot devices can be used to monitor and control the mechanical electrical and electronic systems used in various types of buildings in home auto- building automation in this context three main areas are being covered in literature the integration of the internet with the building energy management systems in order to create energy efficient and iot driven smart buildings the possible means of real by monitoring for reducing energy consumption and monitoring occupant behaviors the integration of smart environment and how they may be used in future applications industrial internet of things iot industrial iot devices acquire and analyze data from connected equipment operational technology ot locations and people combined with ot monitoring devices iot helps regulate and monitor industrial systems also the same implementation can be carried out for automated record updates of asset placement in uh, industrial storage units as the size of the assets can vary from a small screw to the whole motor spare part and misplacement as of such assets can cause a percentile loss of time and money iot can connect various manufacturing devices equipped with sensing identification processing communication activation and networking capabilities network control and management of manufacturing equipment assets asset and asset management or manufacturing process control allow iot to be used for industrial applications and smart manufacturing iot intelligent systems enable rapid manufacturing and automation rapid response to product demands digital control systems to automate process controls operator tools and service information systems to optimize plant safety and security are within the purview of iot iot to be applied to asset management asset management by a predictive maintenance statistical evaluation and measurements to maximize reliability industrial management systems can be integrated with smart grid enabling energy optimization measurements automated controls plant optimization health and safety management and other functions are provided by network in addition to general manufacturing iot is also used for process in the industrialization of construction there are numerous iot applications in farming such as collecting data and templates for rain test infestation and soil control This data can be used to automate farming techniques.
take informed decisions to improve quality and quantity, minimize risk and waste, and reduce effort required to manage crops. For example, farmers the soil temperature and moisture from afar, and even apply IoT acquired data to precision fertilization programs. So the overall goal is that. Data from sensors coupled with the farmer's knowledge and intuition about his or own farm can help increase farm productivity and also help reduce that. In August 2013, 18, IOTA showed behind a partnership with Microsoft to create fish farming tools using the Microsoft Azure application suite for uh, IoT technologies related to water management, developed in part by researchers from Kindai University, the water pump mechanisms use of artificial intelligence, AI. Found the number of fish on a conveyor belt, analyze the number of fish, and deduce the effectiveness of water flows from the data the, and the fish provide. The Farm Beach project from Microsoft uses TV white space to connect FGARMS, FD arms is also part of the Azure marketplace. The utilization of IoT based applications for improving food supply chain activities has been extensively investigated and raised in the RFID technology adoption in the grocery supply chain has led to the real-time visibility of stocks and limited proof of delivery increased efficiency in uh, logistics or short shell life products, environment, cell livestock and cold chain monitoring and effective traceability. Researchers at the Laboro University based on IoT technology design and IoT digital food based tracking is supported with the decision making in real time to combat and reduce the food waste issues in food management. They further developed a fully automated system based on image processing uh, to track potato waste in a potato packing factory. The IoT is currently being deployed in the food industry to increase the food safety, improve the logistics, enhance the food supply chain transparency and waste stage reduction. IoT devices are in the environments and systems of boards and yards. Many pressure boards are left unattended for days in summer and months in winter. So, so such devices provide valuable yearly alert of boat flooding, fire, and deep discharge of batteries. The use of global internet data and networks such as SIGFOX combined with long life batteries electronics allows the engine rooms built and batteries to be constantly monitored and reported in a connected Android and Apple applications. For example, Monitoring and controlled opera operations of sustainable urban and rural infrastructure like bridges, railway tracks, and on and offshore wind farms is a key application of the IoT. The IoT infrastructure can be used for monitoring the event, any events or changes in structural conditions that can compromise safety and increase the risk. The IoT can benefit the construction industry by cost saving, time reduction, better quality work. Workday paperless workflow and increase in productivity it can help in taking faster decisions and save money with real time data analytics. It can also be used for scheduling, repair, and maintenance activities in an efficient manner by coordinating tasks between service providers and users of these facilities. IoT devices can also be used to control critical infrastructure like bridges to provide access to food. Usage of IoT devices for monitoring and operating infrastructure is likely to improve incident management and emergency response coordination and quality of service up times and reduce costs of operation in all infrastructure related areas. Even areas such as waste management can benefit from automation and the optimization that could be brought in by the IoT. There are several planned or ongoing logical deployments of IoT to enable better management of cities and systems. Yeah, smart cities, uh, smart street, uh, smart toilet. Uh. Okay, for example, Songdo, South Korea is the first of its kind fully agreed with the wired smart city management of cities and systems. For example, Songdo, South Korea, the first of its fully equipped and wired smart city is gradually being built and approximately 70% of the business district completed as of June 2018. Most of the city is planned to be wired and altered with little or no human intervention. Another application is currently undergoing a project in Santander Spring. 
Not this deployment. Two approaches have been adopted. The city of 180,000 inhabitants has already seen 18,000 downloads of its city smartphone app. App is connected to 10,000 sensors that enable services like parking search, environmental monitoring, digital city agenda, and more. City contact information. Using his deployment so as to benefit merchants to a uh, path these mechanism based on city behavior that aims at maximizing the impact of each notification. Other examples of large scale deployments underway include the Sino Singapore, Guangzhou, Knowledge City, work on improving air and water quality, reducing noise pollution, and increasing transportation in San Jose, California, and smart traffic management. So anything, everything we use the term smart, we add that objective. Uh, People need to be smart. People are becoming dumb and dumb. Smart traffic management in Western Singapore. Using its land and space multiple access RPMM tech. RPMA technology, San Diego Ingenu has built a nationwide public network for low bandwidth data transmissions using the same unlicensed 2.4 gigahertz spectrum as Wi Fi. Ingenu's machine network covers more than a third of the US population across 33 major cities, including San Diego and San Diego and uh, Dallas. French company Seacox commenced building an ultra narrow band wireless data network in the San Francisco Bay Area in 2014, the first business to achieve such a deployment in the US. We subsequently announced it would set up a total of 4,000 base stations to cover. A total of the US by the end of 2016, making it the largest IoT network coverage provider in the country thus far. Cisco also participates in smart cities projects. Cisco has started deploying technologies for smart Wi Fi, smart safety and security, smart lighting, smart parking, smart transport, smart bus depots, smart kisses, remote export for government services, REGS, and smart education in the five kilometer area in the city of Vijayawada. Another example of a large deployment is the one. Completed by New York waterways in New York City to connect all the city's vessels and be able to monitor 24-7. The network was designed and engineered by Fluid Mesh Networks, a Chicago-based company developing wireless networks for critical applications. The NYWW network is currently providing coverage on the Hudson River, East River, and Upper New York City. With a wireless network in place, New York waterway is able to take control of its fleet and passengers in a way that was not previously possible. New applications can include security, energy and fleet management, digital signage, public Wi-Fi, paperless ticketing and others. Significant numbers of energy consuming devices already integrate internet and allow them to communicate with utilities, not only to balance power generation, but also helps to optimize energy consumption as well. These devices allow for remote control by users or central management via a cloud-based interface and enable functions like scheduling. The smart utilities, uh, utility side IoT application systems gather and act on energy and power related information to improve the efficiency of the product electricity. Using advanced metering infrastructure, internet connected devices, electric utilities not only collect data from end users, but also manage the distribution automation devices like transformers. Environmental monitoring IoT typically use sensors to assist in environmental protection by monitoring air or water quality atmosphere atmospheric or soil conditions and can even include areas for monitoring, like monitoring the movements of wildfire and the habitats. Development of resource-constrained devices connected to the internet also means that other applications like earthquake and tsunami early warning systems can also be used devices, services to provide more effective way. IoT devices in this application typically span a large geographic area and can also be mobile. It has been argued that the standardization IoT brings to wireless sensing. It uh, will revolutionize this area. Another example of integrating the IoT is Living Lab, which integrates research and innovation process establishing within a public private people partnerships. There are currently 320 living labs that use IoT to collaborate between stakeholders to co create innovative and technological products. 
or companies to implement and develop IoT services for smart cities, they need to have incentives. The governments play key roles in smart city projects as changes in policies will help cities to implement the IoT, which provides effectiveness, efficiency, and accuracy of the resources that are being used. For instance, the government provides tax incentives and key trend improves public transports and offers an environment where startup companies, the creative industries, and multinationals may co-create, share a common infrastructure and labor markets and take advantage of locally embedded technologies, production process and transaction costs. Transaction costs. The relationship between the technology developers and governments who manage the city's assets is key to provide open access to resources to users in an efficient way. The internet of military things, IOM, of IoT technologies in the military domain, versus of recognizing surveillance and other combat-related objectives. It is heavily influenced by the future prospects of warfare in an urban environment and involves the use of sensors, munitions, vehicles, robots, human variable biometrics, and other small technology that is relevant in the battlefield. The Internet of Battlefield Things, IOBT, is a project initiated and executed by the US Army Research Laboratory that focuses on the basic science related to the IoT and that enhance the capabilities of Army soldiers. In 2017, the Internet of Battlefield Things Collaborative Research Alliance establishing a working collaboration between industry, university, and Army researchers. Advanced the theoretical foundations of IoT technologies and their applications to army operations. The Ocean of Things IoT project, a DARPA led program designed to establish an IoT across large ocean areas for the purposes of collecting, monitoring, and analyzing environmental and vessel activity data. The project entails the deployment of about 50,000 floats that house the passive sensor food that economically detect and track military and commercial results as part of a cloud base. There are several applications of smart or active packaging. Tsunami one or active packaging in which the QR code or near field communication path is affixed on a product or its packaging. All of us are using the QR codes. Big one. Okay, the package as you, however, it contains a unique identity, typically a URL, which on resource which is locator, which enables a user to access digital content about the product via a smartphone. Strictly speaking, such passive items are not part of the IoT, but they can be as enablers of digital interaction. term Internet of Packaging, IOP, has been coined to describe applications in package in which unique identifiers are used to automate supply chains and are scanned on large scale by consumers to access digital content, authentication, authentication of the unique identifiers. And thereby the product itself. Possible by a co copy sensitive digital watermark or copy detection pattern for scanning and scanning a quick response code. Sure. While near field community communication, NFC tax and input communication. IoT's major significant trend in recent years is the explosive growth of and control by the internet. The wide range of applications for IoT technology mean that the specific can be very different from one device to the next. But there are basic characteristics shared by most. IoT creates opportunities for more direct integration of the physical world into computer based systems, resulting in efficiency improvements, economic benefits, and reduced human exertions. The number of IoT devices increased 31 percent year over year to 8.4 billion in the year 2017, and it is estimated that there will be 30 billion devices by 2020. The global market value of IoT is US dollars. 
7.1 trillion by 2020 and be an intelligence and autonomous control are not part of the original concept of the iot ambient intelligence and autonomous control do not necessarily require internet structures either our fifteen research tech companies such as intel to integrate the concepts of iot and autonomous control i the initial outcomes towards this direct and constraining objects as a driving force for autonomous iot autonomous cars okay a promising approach in this context is the reinforcement learning where most of the iot systems provide a dynamic and interactive environment training an agent to be so such an environment cannot be addressed by conventional machine learning algorithms such as supervised learning a reinforcement learning approach a learning agent can sense the environment state perform actions and learn through the maximizing accumulated resources in long term iot intelligence can also be offered at three levels iot devices edge cloud nodes and cloud computing the need for intelligent control yeah cloud computing computing occurs over the cloud huh? nice terms the need for intelligent control and decision at each level depends on the time sensitiveness of iot application for example an autonomous vehicles camera needs to make real time obstacle detection detection to avoid an accident this part not be possible through transferring data from the vehicle to cloud instances and run the predictions back to the vehicle instead all the operation should be performed locally in the vehicle integrating advanced machine learning algorithms including deep learning in the iot devices is an active research area to make smart objects closer to reality however moreover it is possible to get the most value out of to analyzing iot data extracting hidden information and predicting control decisions a wide variety of machine learning techniques have been used in iot domain ranging from traditional methods such as regression support vector machine and random forest to advanced ones such as convolutional neural networks lstm and variational auto encoder in the future iot may be a non deterministic and volatile open network in which auto organized on intelligent entities or intelligent entities and virtual objects avatars will be interoperable and able to interact independently depending on the context circumstances are environment autonomous behavior through the correction and reasoning of context information as well as the object's ability to detect and introduce suitable navigation measures constitutes a major research trend clearly needed to provide credibility to the iot technology modern iot products and solutions in the marketplace use a variety of different technologies to support such context have automation but more sophisticated forms of intelligence are requested to permit sensor units and intelligent cyber physical systems we deploy in real environments social internet of things yes iot is a new kind of iot that focuses the importance of social interaction and relationship between iot devices yes iot is a pattern of how cross domain iot devices enabling application to application communication and collaboration without human intervention in order to serve the owners with autonomous services and this only can be realized when gain gain low level architecture support from both iot software and hardware engineers iot defines a device as an identity like a citizen in a community and connect them to the internet to provide services to its users yes iot defines a social network for iot devices only to interact with each other for different goals that to serve humans yes iot is uh, different from the original iot in terms of the collaboration characteristics iot is passive to set to serve the for dedicated purposes with existing iot devices pre determined yes iot is active It was programmed and managed by the AI 
uh, for unplanned purposes with the mix and match of potential IoT devices from different systems that he benefits. It uses devices built in with the sociability and will broadcast their abilities or functionalities and at the same time discovers, navigates and groups with other IoT devices in the same or nearly nearby network for useful service help its users proactively in everyday life, especially during emergencies. That some scholars and activists argue that IoT can be used to create new models of civic engagement if device networks can be open to user control and interoperable platforms. Philip N. Howard, a professor and author, writes that political life in both democracies and authoritarian regimes will be shaped by the way the IoT will be used for civic engagement. For that to happen, he argues that any connected device should be able to divulge a list of the ultimate beneficiaries of its sensor data and that individual citizens should be able to add new organizations to the map. In addition, he argues that civil society groups need to start developing their IoT strategy for making use of data and engaging with the public. The IoT suffers from platform fragmentation, lack of interoperability and common technical standards, a situation where the variety of IoT devices in terms of both hardware variations and differences in the software running on the makes the task of developing applications that work consistently between different inconsistent technology ecosystems. For example, wireless connectivity for IoT can be done using Bluetooth, ZigBee, Z-Wave, LoRa, NB IoT, CAD, MI, as well as completely custom proprietary radios, each with its own advantage and disadvantages, and unique support ecosystems. IoT is an office. Computing nature is also a problem for security, since patches for bugs to bugs found in the core operating system often do not reach users of older and price devices. One set of researchers say that the failure of vendors to support our older devices with the patches and updates leaves more than 87% of active Android devices vulnerable. Philip N. Howard, a professor and author, writes that the IoT offers immense potential for empowering citizens, making government transparent and broadening information access. Howard cautions, however, that privacy threats are enormous as, as is the potential for social control and political manipulation. Concerns about privacy have led many to consider the possibility that big data infrastructures such as IoT and data mining are inherently compatible, compatible, incompatible with privacy. Key challenges of increased digitization in the water, transport, and energy sector are related to privacy and cyber security, which necessitate an advanced, adequate response from research and policy makers alike. Writer Adam Greenfield claims that IoT technologies are not only an invasion of public space, but are also being used to perpetuate normal behavior, citing an instance of billboards with the hidden cameras that track the demographic of passes by who stop to read that thing. The IoT Council compared the increase to prevalence of digital surveillance due to the IoT to the conceptual panopticon described by Jeremy Bentham in the 18th century. The assertion was defended by the works of philosophers, French philosopher Michael Fockel and Giles Deleuze in discipline and punish. The path of the prison so called asserts the panopticon as a central element of the discipline society developed during the industrial era. So called also argued the discipline system established in factories and schools reflected then transmission of in its 1992 paper, Postscripts on the Society of Control. Delius wrote that this is the discipline society a transition into a control society with a computer replacing the panopticon as an instrument of discipline and control while still maintaining the quality similar to that of panopticon. Peter Paul Verbeek, a professor of philosophy of technology at the University of Trent, Netherlands, writes that technology already influences our moral decision making while in turn affects human agency, privacy, and autonomy. He cautions against viewing technology in as a human tool, an 
Justin Brookman of the Center for Democracy and Technology expressed concern regarding the impact of the IoT and consumer privacy, saying that there are some people in the commercial space who say, oh, big data, well, let's collect everything, keep it around forever. We'll pay for somebody to think about security later. Yeah, big data. The question is, why collect unwanted data? The question is whether you want to have some sort of uh, policy framework in place to limit, limit that. Data mining is because they have uh, so much unwanted data, they have to filter. They call it as data mining. Tim really believes that the uh, way companies sell the IoT devices and consumers are misplaced. Once I heard a lecture by an IoT mathematics professor on big data. Why I asked him why collect so much data? Okay, then uh, break your head. Consumers are misplaced due to disputing the notion that the IoT is about gaining efficiency from putting all kinds of devices. The notion that the IoT is really about human The applications are profoundly different when you have sensors and data driving the decision making. Editorials at Wired have also expressed concern on stating what you are about to lose is your privacy. Actually, it is worse than that. You are not, you're not just going to lose your privacy, you are going to have to watch very concept of privacy be the classic example is so-called voice assistant devices like Alexa, Echo, etc. They record audio, video, whatever happens in the privacy of our homes without our consent. People see only the positives and fail to look at the negatives or dark side, like dark net, you know. These companies make us to focus only on the positives. They don't like us to see the other side. The coin has two sides, no? It's our tails. Okay, the American Civil Liberties Union expressed concern regarding the ability of IoT to erode people's control over their own lives. The ACLU wrote that there is simply no way to forecast how these immense powers disproportionately accumulating in the hands of corporations seeking financial advice, advantage and governments craving even more control will be used. Snooping like Pegasus software. There is so much hue and cry about Pegasus software all over the world, including India. Chances are big data harder for us to control our own lives as we grow increasingly transparent to powerful corporations and government institutions that are becoming more opaque to us. In response to rising concerns about privacy and smart technology in 2007, the British government stated it to follow formal privacy by design principles when implementing the smart metering program. The program will lead to the replacement of traditional power meters with smart energy meters. So they can bill any amount. Things are uh, eating the current way of smart meters. The smart power meters, that project is in progress in India too, which could, which could track and manage energy usage more accurately. However, the British Computer Society is doubtful these principles are actually implemented. As a result of uh, replacing the traditional power meters with these uh, smart power meters, the electricity consumption has gone up. Uh, and uh, consumers are uh, forced to pay through the nose. If you understand what I am saying. In 2009, the Dutch Parliament rejected a similar smart metering program facing the addition on privacy. The Dutch program later revised and passed in 2011. Security is the biggest concern in adopting IoT technology, which concerns the, the rapid development is happening without appropriate consideration of the profound security challenges involved and the regulatory changes that might be necessary. Most of the technical security concerns are similar to those of conventional sensors, servers, smartphones. These concerns include weak authentication, targeting the chain, default credentials, encrypted messages sent between devices. SO, SQL, structured query language injections, uh, man, the middle attacks, uh, and poor handling of security updates. What happens with all the software, no? They say, I mean, you have to keep on updating your security system. 
including windows and water. Otherwise, hackers will be again. Why come up with a program? There are so many flaws. You can call it as a bug. You have to patch up. You must keep on paying money for ever. However, many IoT devices have severe operational limitations and computer computational power available to them. The computer field, they always say bug. You have to debug. Why do you sell it to the market without debugging? That is my question. These constraints often make them unable to directly use basic security measures such as implementing or using strong ecosystems to implement the communications with other devices. The low price and consumer focus of many devices makes a robust security patching system uncommon. Rather than conventional security vulnerabilities, fault injection attacks are on the rise and targeting IoT devices. Fault injection attack is a physical attack on a device to purposely, purposefully introduce faults in the system to change the internal behavior. Faults might happen unintentionally by environmental noises and electromagnetic fields. There are ideas stem from full flow integrity from fault injection attacks and system recovery to a healthy state before the fall. IoT devices have also access to new areas of data and can often control physical devices. So that even by 2014, it was possible to say that many internet-connected appliances could already spy on people in their own homes, including televisions, kitchen appliances, cameras, and thermostats. Computer-controlled devices in automobiles such as brakes, engine locks, food, and trunk releases, on heat, and dashboard have been shown to be vulnerable to attackers who have access to the onboard network. In some cases, vehicle computer systems are internet allowing them to be exploited remotely. By 2018-2008, Security researchers had shown the ability to remotely control pacemakers without lethality. Later, hackers demonstrated remote control of insulin pumps and implantable cardioverter defibrillators. Poorly secured internet accessible IoT devices can also be subverted to attack others. In the computer denial of service attacks covered by IoT devices running the Mirai sub malware took down a DNS provider and major websites. The Mirai botnet has infected. 65,000 IoT devices within the first 20 hours. Eventually, the infections increased around 200,000 to 300,000 infections. Brazil, Colombia, and Vietnam made up 41.5% of the infections. The Mirai botnet has single or specific IoT devices that consisted of DDS, IP cameras, routers, and printers. Top that contain the most infected devices were identified as Dagua, UI, ZTE, Cisco, Zizer, and Microtic. In May 2007, 17, Junaid Ali, a computer scientist at Cloudflare, noted that native GDOS as vulnerability existing IoT devices due to poor implementation of the public subscribe pattern. These sorts of attacks have caused security experts to View IoT as a real threat to internet service. US National Intelligence Control Council is an unclassified report. Maintains that it would be hard to deny access to networks of sensors and remotely controlled for the US criminals and mischief makers. An open market for Aggregated sensor data could serve the interest of commerce and security no less than it helps criminals and spies identify vulnerable targets. Thus, massively parallel sensor fusion may undermine social cohesion if it is compatible with the Fourth Amendment guarantees against the unreasonable search. In general, the intelligence community views the IoT as a rich source of data. On 31st January 2019, the Washington Post wrote an article regarding the security and ethical challenges that can occur with IoT doorbell sometimes. Last month, Ring Guard caught allowing the team to stream in Ukraine to view and undertake certain user videos. The company says it only looks at publicly shared videos and those from Ring owners who provide consent. Just for the California family's Nest camera. Let a hacker take over and the broadcast fake audio warnings about a missile attack. Not to mention peer, peering on the when they used a weak password. 
There have been a range of responses to concerns over security. The foundation was launched on 23 September 2015 with a mission to secure the IoT by promoting knowledge and best practices. Founding board. is made from technology providers and telecommunication companies. In addition, large IT companies are developing innovative solutions to ensure the safety of IoT devices. In 2017, Mozilla launched Project Things, which allows for out IoT devices to a safe web of things gateway. As for the estimates from KBV research, the overall IoT market would grow at 27.9% rate during 2016 to 22 as a result of growing infrastructural concerns and diversified usage of IoT. Governmental regulation is argued by some to be necessary to secure IoT devices and the wider internet as market incentives to secure IoT devices is insufficient. It was found that due to the nature of most of the IoT development boards, they generate predictable and weak keys, which make it easy to be utilized by man in the middle attack. However, various hardening approaches were proposed by many researchers to to solve the issue of SSH. Big implementation and weak keys. IoT systems are typically controlled by event driven smart apps that take us either sense data, user inputs, or other external figures and command one or more actuators towards providing different forms of automation. Examples of sensors include smoke detectors, motion sensors and contact sensors. Examples of motion sensors even in the place where we do Examples of actuators include smart large smart power outlets and load controls. Popular control platforms on which third party developers can build the smart apps that interact wirelessly with those sensors and actuators include Samsung smart things, Apple's home kit, and Amazon's Alexa among others. The problem specific to IoT systems is that buggy apps and forcing bad or device communication failures can cause unsafe and dangerous physical states. Example, unlock the entrance door when no one is alone. Or turn off the heater when the temperature is below zero degrees Celsius and people are sleeping at night. Internet of bodies, IOB devices comes in many forms. Some are already in wide use such as wristwatch, fitness monitors, or pacemakers that transmit data about a cardiologist. Other products that are under development or newly on the market may be less familiar such as ingestible products that collect and send information a person to get microchip implants brain stimulation devices and internet connected toilets these devices are intimate access and collect large quantity of personal biometric data iob devices make device makers promise to deliver substantial health and other benefits but also for serious serious risks including risks of hacking privacy infringements or malfunction some devices such as a reliable artificial pancreas for uh, diabetics could revolutionize the treatment of disease while state healthcare costs with a little positive effect on outcomes. Access to huge torrents of live streaming biometric data might trigger breakthroughs in medical knowledge to behavioral understanding. It might increase health outcomes disparities where only people with financial means have access to any of these benefits. Or it might enable a surveillance state of unprecedented intrusion and consequence. Examples are IOB technologies, artificial pancreas, brain computer interfaces, brain electrical signals for Parkinson's, postal implants, devices, implantable cardiac pacing, implantable glucose monitors, implantable smart stents, ingestible digital pills, EHS, EHRs, free standing infusion pumps, sensor equipped hospital beds, wearable insulin pumps, wearable prosthetics, wearable sensor monitors, attention monitors, body implanted sensors, clothing sensors female technology products, pre-standing consumer IOB, implantable microchips, mental and emotional sense, vision and hearing aids, wearable health trackers, wearable neuro devices, etc. This list is certainly not exhaustive. So IoT is affecting our lives in some way or other and we do digital life. Even illiterate people Use smartphones, smart mini, smart automobiles, wearable devices for health monitoring like pacemakers, insulin constant bit, smart ACs, etc. Anything which is digitized and has 
access to internet is a great way for hackers. Just imagine the situation you are in a small tablet or an implanted medical device in your body which is hacked. Is it not really scary even to imagine, imagine such scenarios? Reality. Technology development is good in some ways, but overall people abuse the technology for their own benefit. Hence, it's a threat to the majority of the population. Absolute safety is a practical impossibility, but honest effort should be made to make any system foolproof and mitigate the risks as much as possible. Failure modes and effects FM ECA should be done for all systems, especially so-called sophisticated systems. Perhaps. Of hacking to generally human beings are human beings are damn good in abusing materialistic society. So exercise adequate care in usage of IoT applied products. Prevention is better than cure. Never be a sucker. As human beings, we need to be smarter than what we use. Then we'll be. Then, we can outsmart these gadgets, systems, gadgets, systems, etc. Debates and discussion on open level topics like this can go on forever. You know, let me pull the plug here. We'll meet again real soon with another interesting topic. Some of the statements used express are solely mine based on over. Six decades of personal experience. Always watch these videos with the closed captions, subtitles for absolute 100% comprehension as for my sincere recommendation. Zillion times so far, I know I rushed to complete the presentation within 20 minutes. This time limit is self imposed to retain the viewers' attention as well. I'm quite aware of the fact that I exceed this time limit. Sometimes I take double or even triple this time depending on the topic. Since I make honest attempts to cover the selected topic more elaborately, including so many intricate fine details, referring a wide variety of in particular, Wikipedia quite extensively besides articles and books published recently. Besides, of course, I sprinkle my own salt and paper and season it with my personal experiences so far in my life. And also, intuition. stay at home as much as possible to maintain social distances. Attribute the pandemic novel COVID 19 and prolong your life. And live a healthy life. God, also known as the Supreme Power, is the one and only one who can put a stop to natural and unnatural, maybe bio or cellular war, events like pandemics and epidemics, which ultimately pays the way for us. Day for apocalypse and extinction of all sentient species, and yes, for no fault of others, rest in peace and harmony.